Mến chào cả nhà đã quay lại với kênh VNK All Things. Mọi người có biết ngồi cây mía làm ra đường thì còn có cây mấy bộ làm ra đường nữa hay không? Mọi người muốn biết quy trình làm đường từ cây mấy bộ hoặc là cây phong thì xin mọi người xem video để biết rõ hơn. Trong video này, cả nhà sẽ thấy quy trình để lấy nước của cây phong là việc không có đơn giản. Và cũng trong video này, bạn sẽ thấy công nghệ để lấy nước À, làm mật okay. bắt đầu từ người da đỏ cho đến hiện nay nó phát triển như thế nào xin mời cả nhà đón xem nhé. Are these maple uh, cookies? Or? No, they're they're little pancakes. We can give you a sample oh, of the maple syrup. Oh, pancakes with maple. Okay, very cool. She didn't get the chicken maple in there. Yeah, I got, I got it. Okay. So are these like the same or are they different? Yeah, it's um, maple. Oh, okay. So these are local. Oh, okay. Yeah, they make the maple syrup right here in the sugar house. Oh, I got you. Okay. Thank you. Okay, hôm nay mình đi uh, biên khi ở tiên đi tới chỗ uh, làm uh, mật maple. Uh, um, can we? How do you? Three for dollar? Okay. Can we go try three pieces? Three. Yep. Thank you. Mm -hmm. À, ở đây là người ta làm cái mật của uh, cây phong nè. Are you guys making the maple syrup here? Yeah. That's Try cool. That's cool. How much longer we got? A lot. <laughs> Did you leave this boiling like last night or okay? You have to monitor this. Well, when I shut it down. Uh, I would usually flood the panel at about a three quarters of an inch yeah. extra because the residual heat from all the fire bricks and stuff will it'll continue to evaporate. So typically, how long does it take for it to like yeah, turn too, into too long? Too long? Like yeah. like how long is too long? <laughs> uh, yeah, it, could, it depends a lot on the weather uh -huh. and the conditions of the sap, conditions of uh, you know the firewood. And yeah, all. there's just way too many conditions. But is it like a couple of days or? It could be. Okay. That's cool. I mean, I, this, yesterday I started this up at 9 a.m. 9 a.m. At 4 o'clock, um, we were done. And it was getting close. Oh, okay. But right now I'm just kind of letting it idle because we're running low on sap. Yeah. Burn the pan. So does it get, does, is, is it like, does the um, syrup comes out of here? Yeah. Okay. When, it, when it's syrup, it'll come out back. And when it comes out, we'll run it over here. We'll run it through a filter. Okay. So it's just, just a simple... This is Orlon. Okay. I, I personally like the wool. Yeah. Uh, and then there's a, a, paper, a paper filter we'll put in here. It's a lot like a coffee filter. Oh, I gotcha. It just helps keep the, the, the big heavy one yeah. cleaner longer. Oh, I see. Thank um, you. They have to be wet for the syrup to go through. Okay. So you have to wet that first? Yeah. Okay. That's why I got a bucket over here. Oh. I got gotcha. you. Right. Ta dùng cái đó để mà lọc cái uh, cái mật ra. Nó còn phải ướp. Oh. It's Naga steam, Dane, because here comes the sarcasm. So this, this steam is called Naga steam, because why, Dane? It's not going to be syrup. It's not going to be syrup. <laughs> He's got to do it every year. Just, good job, Dane. He's got to have it. He needs it. He needs to be able to say that. After being in the sugar house for so many hours. <laughs> He's losing it. No, but there's a hole in the roof so that the steam can go up and through. Otherwise, we wouldn't even be able to see in here. It'd be full of steam. There is a huge, gigantic fire. Very, very, very hot fire in this massive oven right here. It's full of wood because sitting on top of it is this big silver pan called an evaporator. It would totally burn your bum. 
Yes, it would. Yeah. <laughs> we bring the sap in. We collect the sap. We put it in this massive 100 gallon tank up top. There's a tube that runs from that tank to the evaporator and it flows sap in. And as that sap flows in, it moves through different compartments like rooms and it boils. And it boils and it boils and it boils and it boils. If it's boiling real well and we can hold the oven full of wood at the right temperature, which is what, Dane? Seven degrees above the boiling point of water. Which is what, Dane? On an average day, it would be 219 degrees. 219 degrees. You know how hot that is? Dude, it's a boil. Now, Dane has studied the consistency. That means how thick and what the sap looks like as it starts to turn to syrup. Candy. With all Three of the water $1. leaving, see, that's all the water. Bye, water. Bye, bye. That steam is not going to be syrup, right? That means that what's going to be left over in there is all the This is Dane's. Not a macaroni and cheese spoon. Oh, look at the color of that. That was sap. Do you remember when we saw the sap in the bucket? Yeah. My bad. Here, you take, yeah, you can kind of walk up there. If that sap that we saw in the bucket, it was not, not brown. It wasn't beautiful brown like that. It was more clear. And more blue. That was from the bucket. But this now <laughs> is turning brown because that is turning into syrup. The water's leaving a ton of sap to make syrup. See this picture above that man's head? You can stay there, you're good. 40 gallons of sap. This is sap to make one gallon of syrup. So it takes this much sap to make just this much syrup. This is barely enough syrup to like even fit on your tongue. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that's, yeah, that's called skimping out right there. Bạn nhiều cái nước đó. Trong cái cây để làm một chút nước đường đó. Lovingly, of course. Yeah. That's a tiny bit. That's not a life or death situation right there. Yeah. Yeah, so it takes a lot of work bringing all this sap in because we have to boil so much. And here is the only place in the world that you can do this. See that big yellow blob over Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, Wisconsin, Minnesota, Maine, yes. Massachusetts, New York, Pennsylvania. That's the only place in the world that there's enough sugar maples growing densely in the forest and the right temperatures so it needs to get cold at night and it's got to warm up just enough but not too much can't warm it up too much but it needs to be cold at night again all right so when we're ready here comes the diaper i know it's not really a diaper <laughs> it's not really. This is like a big coffee filter. I, this is like how much coffee I want to drink in a day, but I can't because I'll die. But yeah, this is like a huge filter. When the syrup is ready, we run the syrup through this to get the dirt out. We get any little last bits of dirt or hardened sand, which is like kind of crusty minerals that might have been boiled down but not boiled all the way. So we filter our syrup by hanging it underneath this spout. We hang it underneath this spout and run it into our collection pan. It filters it out. So this is a magic spout. That's when we're ready to pour this off, which means we're ready to collect some syrup. If it's the right color and the right thickness, we run it through that filter and into our pan. So, right before we go ahead this way and through, through here. 
And then this is the I love it. Đây là cái phong nha cả nhà, lấy nước nè. Lấy nước nhiều xuống nè. Nước ở trong đó nè. Tương tự giống như là uh, cây cao su ở Việt Nam mình vậy á. Nhưng mà cái này là anh lấy mật từ cái cây phong ra để làm đường, làm nước nước ngọt ở đây nè cái bản đồ hồi nãy á, màu vàng á, là chỉ những cái nơi mà có thể um, lấy mật được đây là những người nè hey how are you Good, thank you. You guys are collecting saps here? Yes, yeah. That's so cool. right this station we're talking about how Native Americans collected oh, and made their okay. made their syrup and their, their maple sugar. Oh I see. When are you starting that? Is that it's it's just... going right now. Oh okay. Yep. Yeah, so they what they would do is they uh -huh. would collect the sap and then they would they didn't have metal, right? So right. they would drop hot rocks into here. So I have rocks in the fire. Okay. And you would take deer antlers, because they're bone, they wouldn't burn. Uh-huh and you'd pick one up and then you drop it in so you can still see it's it's steaming still a little bit yeah um and that's that's how they would do it they would just rotate hot rocks after hot rocks in and in and then they'd pull them out yeah put them back in until it concentrated wow way down. It that's, that's a, really a long, long time yeah really really long time <laughs> that's crazy but they would use wood uh -huh. for their for their taps so here's a wooden oh, okay. file so they would cut the tree yep in a v Mm -hmm. And they'd put this in the bottom of the V. Oh, and then and the that sap would run down, down through, yeah. just like over here. Oh, I see. Into a wow. burned out, burned out bucket. That's cool. Cái này là kiểu mấy người da đỏ người ta làm một cái xưa. Người ta dùng cái người ta không có có đồ ấy cho nên hứng người ta dùng bằng cái cách này. And then when the uh, settlers came, they got metal. Uh -huh. So that's the next station over there. So oh, they'll, they'll I be able see. To tell you. So okay. we're, we're demonstrating that. And then there's the galvanized buckets, right? So eventually yep. we got galvanized steel. That's what like is over here. Yes. And now they're even starting to use plastic bags. So you can see if you step to your left, see the plastic bag oh, hanging over okay. there? Yes. So because it's lighter. Oh, I see. Is that the technique they're using now or they're still using uh, buckets? We still right? use buckets, but, but some of the bigger places use either the bags or the tubing see the folks standing over there yeah the tube running between the trees oh okay so tubing so are... is another way to do okay. it that they're the, the big techniques. places are using tubing yeah and they actually turn on a pump and it sucks out everything out oh that's quicker that crazy? Huh? yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's you nice. can, it's it's night and day from from where where we started oh, right there, exactly right? things evolves thank you you're welcome bây giờ người ta dùng cái uh, um, nó càng ngày hiện tại uh, hiện đại hơn thì người ta uh, từ cái cách hồi nãy ông đã chỉ qua cái này và cái cuối cùng là qua bằng cái uh, um, cái ống nó sẽ dùng cái đồ để nó, nó rút ra đây là cái mặt is that what they use to carry the sap so the kids would have put a yoke around their their neck mm -hmm. to um, carry the sap buckets back and forth out of the woods I see. So they could cook it on these, and they'd have multiple fires going, not just one. They'd have a whole bunch because they mm -hmm. wanted to do as much as they could at one time. So they would have spent weeks out here doing this. Oh, yeah. But see. this was all the sweetener they had for the whole year because they didn't have sugar yet. They didn't have honey here yet. Yep. No sugar cane, no honey. 
Thời đó ta không có, có mật ong mà. Ta dùng lấy mật bằng cách này Bây giờ người ta nên, uh, dùng bằng cái uh, cái xô đó hay là dùng bằng cái uh, cái cái bịch này nè lấy uh, mật cái này là cái cách thứ ba dùng để lấy mật nó rút nhanh hơn đây là những nơi mà có thể uh, lấy mật từ cái cây phong đó là những tiểu bang trong đó là có Ohio, Tennessee và New York mấy vùng ở phía uh, phía trên đó bên phải của nước Mỹ và đây là những cái loại cây phong khác nhau đỏ silver sugar Yes. Well, nobody likes cold syrup right. on their pancakes, so they stick it in the microwave and heat it up. Okay. And then they complain later that all of a sudden it's it's crystallizing in the can. Well, right. what you're doing is you're boiling off more water. Yeah. So you're better off actually just taking boiling hot water and put a little bit in a small container and put it mm -hmm. in the water. Oh, that coffee. way you will not reduce the, sh the uh, water oh, content yeah. in the syrup cones. Okay, yeah. And then we got trash cans here on the on the ground that we fill up. So the other day we had two and a half of these trash cans full, the evaporator and the, the trough up there. So we had over 200 gallons to start with. And how long does it take to boil down? Two. Mình có thể lấy đường từ ba loại này nhưng mà có cũng nó ông nói nói là 140 loại uh, uh, cây maple uh, nhưng mà cái ngon nhất là cái sugar là cái đường đó. còn mấy cái kia thì được cái nó ra nước nhưng mà cái đường nó không có nhiều. There's two major factors. Yes. One is the faster you can go from spile, which is on the tree, to this spigot the less opportunity for bacteria to infiltrate the sap. Okay. And what happens is the bacteria gets into the sap, metabolizes some of that sugar. So mm -hmm. that even though it's a simple sugar, they metabolize it and it becomes even simpler. And that simple sugar will caramelize much easier. Okay. So when you cook it, it'll caramelize. And when it's caramelized, that's what gives it the color. But uh, the other, the other uh, factor is just picking up caramelization from the pan. Okay. So in the in the grading kit, the light amber. Yes. That's the most desirable, most expensive. And, okay. Uh, most of the time, that's going to be your first batch of the year. Mm -hmm. Because it took less time to get here, and the, the pan was clean. Okay. So the two factors are. If, you, if your pan's got some caramelization to it, it's going to pick up color from that. So this, these are all sap, right? Yes. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Cầm cái gì á?
So if you drink sap that's like straight out of a tree, yeah. it tastes like water with maybe a teaspoon of sugar. Since I've never had so that, I always not, wondered. Yeah, it's not super sweet. You can buy it in the store. It's already been... I love it. Yeah, but it's a little bit sweet. Then I'm okay. Enhance the 40 to 1. Yeah. I've made tea out of it. And it doesn't even taste like sweet. It's just a sweet thing. Yeah. Okay, so that's a distillation process. There's three stages to it, I guess. It's an evaporation process, not distillation. I'm sorry. Yeah. But that's there's nothing special fluids yeah so hot, thick fluid. right so the hottest oh. thickest fluids separate themselves out into this further uh room of the pan exactly yep exactly over here so are there any plans for this week what's that are there any plans for this week what volunteer staff schedule is Bây giờ mình về thôi. Mình sẽ mua kẹo về để mà bỏ vô trong cà phê rất là ngon hay là bỏ trong trà. Đây mình mua kẹo mỹ bồ. Cảm ơn cả nhà đã theo dõi. Hẹn gặp lại. Nhớ bấm like, share và subscribe để theo dõi những video và sự kiện. Rất là thú vị nha. Cảm ơn.